This pocket right here is made for a two-way radio, although apparently it's more used for water bottles. These pockets, which are on both sides of the jacket, slightly below your armpits, I initially thought was for holding alien samples. It's to keep your kidneys warm by putting chemical warmers in there. This is a photograph of scientists holding ice cores at Vostok Station. Vostok Station holds the record for the lowest reliably measured natural temperature on Earth of negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a temperature so cold that carbon dioxide would freeze and fall from the air into dry ice if it was under the correct pressure. Today we are looking at that. That right there. The Canada Goose Snow Mantra, aka Big Red. A coat designed for the most extreme situation possible on planet Earth. A plane crash in Antarctica. This Big Red is a jacket that is not meant to be owned by a singular person, but rather a country. A government. It's virtually impossible for anyone besides scientists, support staff, and other research personnel to live on Antarctica, and this jacket really only excels in places like Antarctica. I have a really tough time saying Antarctica. Today we are looking at the jacket that is not meant to be owned, the snow mantra, the perfect jacket for Antarctica. Today's agenda, part one. You can't have a Canada Goose video if you don't talk about why Canada Goose is just so despised by so many people. Number two, this jacket has an insane amount of features that you won't understand unless we know the exact use case scenario of the entire jacket. And I posted on Reddit in the Antarctica forum and said, hey, what do you people think of this jacket? So we can talk about what this jacket's for and then what people in Antarctica actually think of this jacket because we need that to understand number three which is all the features on this jacket. There are a trillion amazing features, one of which I want to copy and put on my own jackets. This is a brilliant piece of engineering, but we need to understand the jacket in its entirety first. And finally, number four, I would say this isn't the warmest jacket in the world. It's certainly not the most technologically advanced jacket in the world. So what the heck is it? And what are the alternatives around it? That's where things get really interesting. And also, finally, God, woo, God. Certainly is warm though. Finally, there is one brand that you definitely know and love that is also incredibly popular in Antarctica. So we have to talk about what brand that is because it's a brand you know and love. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty warm in there. Canada Goose is a very different brand than when it started. It's actually a different name brand. It used to be called Snow Goose, but it went through a absolutely massive change from being just one of the best down jacket makers in the world that made things for Antarctica and Antarctic missions and everything like that, to then becoming the luxury fashion icon that it is today. But they shifted from tools to luxury products. And when you make that shift and come into the public eye and are not a tool for Antarctic workers, everybody starts to pay attention to what you're doing and there are some things that Canada Goose was doing that the general public didn't like. The first reason is the most interesting reason because this was the catalyst to all of the Canada Goose drama, and that is this collar. This is a coyote fur collar, when obviously most collars that you see now in real life are synthetic. They're made of polyester strands. It's important to note the reason that Canada Goose used coyote fur is because it's warmer than synthetic fur, because there's hollow fibers, it's more durable, and it's more water resistant. So when you're making a jacket for Antarctica, that I, I feel like people would want that. The other thing which I, I tried to find if there was any reason this was done besides to save costs, I can't find anything. It's just a terrible practice. I can't show you pictures. Canada Goose's supply chain was found to involve places that use live down plucking, which is just so you keep a bird alive, you pluck the down from them and then they regrow it and you keep doing it so you get more rounds of down from one bird. And I think the true issue wasn't that Canada Goose was doing it because basically all down jacket brands at one point or another were doing something like that. The issue was that Canada Goose was still doing that. So people took issue with it and then Canada Goose rectified the situation. They are now using responsibly sourced down and no longer using fur on their collars, although they are using what is left and when they are out, they are out. To put all that into perspective, the N3B, a parka introduced by the US Air Force in the 1950s, stopped using fur and switched to synthetic in 1990. So Canada Goose was about 30 years behind the switch from the N3B, which I feel like is probably the largest contracted cold weather parka in history. You wanna know what else I love besides big fat jackets? Big fat savings, and carrot can save you up to 90% without a coupon. 90% without a coupon? Holy crap a moly, how do I get that? All you have to do is download the carrot extension either on Google Chrome or the App Store, and it's yours to keep. Carrot finds you these deals with a feature they call Deal Hop. How does Deal Hop work? Well, you ever heard of AI? It uses AI for a good reason. 
saving you money. All you have to do is look up anything that you want, for example, this Canada Goose snow mantra, and DealHop will scan the image for you and then scour the web to make sure that you have the best possible deal. And really, the best part is if you download the app or extension, DealHop works for you automatically. You don't have to remember. It just says, hey, there's a deal that's better over here. Check it out. Besides DealHop, Carrot also makes shopping way easier because instead of having a million billion tabs open, you can save them all to a collection in Carrot. You can make it a gift registry. You can send it to people. You can collaborate. The possibilities, my friend, are endless. So thank you to Carrot for sponsoring this video. I highly recommend you download or install the app or extension today. Thanks, Carrot. See you later. So I went on forums, I went on Reddit, and I wanted to hear how much people in Antarctica love this jacket, and they did not. The condition you get them in is luck of the draw. Could be a first time deployer and get a brand new jacket, or you could get one where none of the Velcro works anymore and the zipper sucks. Someone else said, I only wear it when it's mandated for deploying or redeploying, otherwise hung from a coat hook for 12 months. They will definitely keep you warm, that's for sure. So if you're huddled in a snow trench, pondering your situation, you'll be happy you have your big red filled with five days of dehydrated food from the survival cash. <laughs> okay. This jacket jacket right here shouldn't be looked at as anything besides an absolute survival shelter. Not just a jacket, but an impromptu shelter. So now all of the features make a lot more sense and it's the best part of this video. So hunker down! This pocket right here is made for a two-way radio, although apparently it's more used for water bottles. These pockets, which are on both sides of the jacket, slightly below your armpits, I initially thought was for holding alien samples. It's to keep your kidneys warm by putting chemical warmers in there. I tried to figure out what this pocket was for. I can't. I'm sure I'd appreciate it if I was stuck in Antarctica. The collar is absolutely huge, but you can adjust it for the size of your head. You can remove this collar. You could also bend it to the size and shape that you want. And on the inside of the hood and on the storm placket, we'll talk about that in a second, there's a high pile fleece lining, which is also along the placket of the jacket. So when it's zipped up, the weakest Point where the wind might come through is totally sealed off. We have this huge pocket, which is so big, I'm assuming the only reason it's there is so another Antarctic scientist can climb inside. We have the Canada Goose Patch, so people know you're rich. We also have two reflective tapes here, another on the other booby pocket, and on the back of the jacket in case you're lost in the snow and people can't find you by your money falling out of your pocket. We have double long storm cuffs to cover more of your hand, and on the edges of anywhere that's going to have a lot of abrasion around it, we have a very thick layer of nylon so that way it doesn't rip and tear. On the side of all pockets, which are all also bellowed so you can fit more in the pockets and not stretch the jacket, it out. There is a tougher fabric because it will be getting stretched and compressed so many times. There's also on top of the big dump dump pockets, there are hand warmers that are fleece lined. Then we have an ID pocket, two more reflective strips, a D-ring so you can hang your mittens on, another bellow, and inside of this pocket, it's doubled up. This is actually two pockets in one, so you can store separate things. On the back of the jacket, we have two more reflective strips. This pocket, which seems to be a favorite from researchers because they can stick their pens and pencils in there, or I guess their phone, maybe. And the elbows are reinforced in a heavier nylon. All of this webbing is so that way you can grab the jacket because it's a tool. So when you have to go, you grab it and leave. You can also pull these two cords to cinch the jacket a little bit tighter around your waist. There's also a snow skirt that you can close up so that way no wind can come up into the jacket. The jacket also has a two-way zipper that gets stuck a lot. And if it's cold and you don't have face protection, boom, it's already built in. And then there's my favorite feature. This pocket is amazing because it's massive, but what if you need it a little bit bigger? Oh, it expands. Jackets like the snow mantra is what made Canada Goose, Canada Goose. Then they pivoted to luxury, but if someone made this jacket and said, hey, I want to make jackets for Antarctica, this is what I can do, do you want to buy them? I'd say absolutely. But this jacket is not the warmest in the world. It doesn't use the most current technology. So why not? There is a whole category of down jackets that are just as warm, if not warmer, and they're lighter. They're way different. Belay jackets in general are very different. Alpine jackets, summiting jackets are very different. They use higher fill power, lighter weight fabric, different down trapping technologies. This is an older way to hold down in a jacket. There's now cloud down. For example, if you look at the Men's Summit Series Pomori Down Parka by North Face or the Summit Advanced Mountain Kit L6, or you look at different types of insulation like Primaloft Gold with Cross Core, which uses Aerogel in it, which is the lightest insulation material on earth that is outperforming anything else. Why doesn't Canada Goose use these in Antarctica? Number one, I think this is built to be a contracted jacket that should be worn for a very long time, so they're not worried about weight. They want pure toughness. Yes, you can look at the belay jackets as lighter and warmer, but if I was a government, I'm saying I want to buy these jackets and I want them to last at least 20 years. I don't want to give you $1,500 every year for new jackets because they're ripping and tearing because my scientists are running into needles and things outside. 
I don't know what's in Antarctica. The snow mantra is built like this because it's built for Antarctica and not a lot is changing in Antarctica. You can't commercialize anything. There's a lot of rules about going to Antarctica. So it's built for scientists and it doesn't need to change that much over time because this works and it's bulletproof. And the example that I was thinking of before is if you were trapped in Antarctica and someone said you can have your iPhone to signal for help or you can have 15 flares and you may be lost for 10 days. Which one are you going to pick? So anyways, that's the snow mantra. I really enjoy wearing this jacket. It's very cool. I am going to return it immediately when I get home, but it is amazing. I really I like, enjoy talking about it. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. We're talking about the trendiest boots of the era right now that I found before anybody else, but I, never, I didn't buy them until now. So oops, I forgot to say the other very, very popular brand in Antarctica is Carhartt.